Hello friends, hope you all are doing good. So this is the 19th video of the Terraform series and today we are going to discuss about the Terraform function. So this is the part one and we will uh, come with the part two also. So uh, in this particular session, we are going to discuss about the function, numeric function, string function and the collections function. Okay, so what is the Terraform uh, functions? Can we create our own functions, uh, means the user-defined functions? No, Terraform language does not support the user-defined functions. So we have some inbuilt function in the Terraform that we can use it. So there are several types of functions like numeric function, string function, collections, encoding, file system, date time. So we can see each of them one by one. And also we can see uh, the use cases that how can we implement it as a code so that uh, we can create an infrastructure accordingly and if you see my past video all the 18th video somewhere i already used some functions like lookup functions map and all these things we can, we already lo uh, used it previously so in this particular um, sessions we are going to discuss about some of the functions and the second part we will cover uh, rest of them okay so i am going to the terraform uh, official site of the hasic core and here you can find the definitions of the terraform and how it's going to be beneficial so as I already mentioned, uh, we have some uh, built-in uh, functions and the Terraform don't support the user-defined functions. So whatever the functions is uh, created for the Terraform, you can you have to use uh, that only. You can can't create uh, your own functions. Like uh, for the max, uh, if you provide some value like uh, 5, 12 and 9. So 12 is the maximum and you, it will get um, uh, uh, get prompt in the command prompt. So we are going to see some of the functions here. Okay, so numeric we have uh, several types of max, mean, seal, absolute values. Similar we have in the uh, string also like format, in, intent, join. So we are going to pick uh, some of the uh, functions that we are going to demonstrate you in, the, in this particular session. So this is my environment. Let me uh, use the terminal for the git pass. Okay, so we are going to use the Terraform console for this. Let me go to the C drive. Okay, and here we write the Terraform console okay where you can do any types of uh, uh, calculations also like the 3 plus 2 it will uh, produce the result of 5 so any types of calculations 7 modulus 2 it will get the remainder of 1 so what how how you can exit it from you uh, just press the control d and you will get exit okay so terraform console Okay, so suppose uh, I want to find a min of some of the value, min, and here I find uh, 12, 34, 4, and 5. Okay, so it will produce the result of 4 because 4 is the minimum. And for the max, again 12, so I am uh, providing the same value. And max is the 34 okay similarly you can uh, use the power also like uh, 3 to the power 4 okay or to the power 2 for the simplest so it will produce the result of 9 3 to the power is equal to 9 now this is something related with the numeric functions that you can use uh, very easily uh, in the code as well for the uh, string functions like uh, suppose we can you we want to trim trim uh, some value from the both side to prefix side also and the suffix side also so how can we do it uh, there is is exclamation and question mark that i want to remove from the before the uh, hello and after the hello as well so if i uh, click out click it then uh, you will find the hello get prompted so both the characters uh, before the hello and after the hello will get removed. Similarly, we have a, a trim prefix as well. 
So suppose uh, some of the uh, string you want to remove from the trim prefix, like in this example, trim prefix, like you want to remove the hello from the hello world. Okay, so you will pass the string. So this is your uh, actual string, and this is the thing you want to remove. Uh, trim prefix. So this will get removed. Okay. So if when I press enter, the hello world will get appear. Similarly, we have the trim suffix as well. Okay. So if you uh, use the trim suffix, then the world uh, which is uh, after the hello will get uh, removed or you can say get trimmed. Okay, so suppose you have uh, uh, several spaces or some uh, new line you inserted uh, into the string, like we have some spaces before the hello, and some new lines that you want to trim the, all the spaces. So you can uh, use trim spaces. Similarly, we, uh, you can uh, uh, you can use the join function also that produce a string by concatenating together all the element. So whatever the element we provided, uh, it will concatenate it uh, with uh, some of the delimiter that you provided. So suppose uh, uh, we have one example here uh, for, for the join. Okay. So when I uh, use this join with a delimiter of comma and this is the list, okay, which have the, some value. So it will um, uh, make a string of that uh, with uh, our, our delimiter, which is I used as a comma and that will get uh, inserted so this this is the string output you can say we can uh, split it as well uh, suppose we have this value and we want to uh, split it so we will pro provide the separator that at which value uh, which we have to look into as a separator and what is the string we will pass it and we can uh, split it okay and this will give you uh, the list uh, as an output. So you can see we are using the split here and we, uh, we provided it as a separate, uh, separator, you can say. And this is the string. And so it will produce as a, a list as an output. So you can see this produce as list. Okay. So uh, in this way, we have some upper function also, lower function also. Uh, like this is the upper one okay uh, we have the lower character lower string and we want to convert it into the, into the upper case okay similarly we can provide the lower also we provide the value as in the capital okay and this will produce the, into the lower case okay so now we jump into some collections functions okay so we covered the numeric also and the um, collections also for for the numeric we have some others uh, use cases also you can go to this particular side and whichever i not um, uh, pro give provide you the example you can do it yourself accordingly for the string uh, also okay so i picked some of the general use cases that i am going to uh, use it uh, in further videos uh, and that will be very useful uh, that i picked as a example Okay, for the collections, uh, you can concatenate. Okay, you can provide a list of values. Uh, so suppose uh, you can use that for the concatenations by providing the two list values and you want to um, concatenate. So this is an example, like uh, this is the first list which have the two value at the gender index zero and one. Uh, one is the blank, uh, but uh, it will consider it as well. Okay, so it will provide you uh, the list uh, after concatenating by two list with a comma separator okay so it will provide a, a list with the concatenations okay so we can also find some of the values contains in a list also or not so you can use the contains functions uh, in which you will provide the list of values and the value that you are searching for uh, like for in, in this example uh, you can see it's uh, using the contains function and here we have a list of values and this is the value that you want to uh, searching for okay so a is available so it will return a boolean okay so in this way suppose uh, you want uh, you know, to search for the b which not exist suppose uh, i say here the d which not exist okay so it will return false because d not a, a part of this particular list Okay. Similarly, we have a distinct. Suppose we have a duplicate value in the in the list. Okay, and we want to distinct it. So you can see A, B, uh, A is again coming. Okay, C, D, 
and B is again coming. So it will uh, remove all the duplicate value and provide you a unique value. And so this is the distinct function. Okay, you can find the length of, of the any of the string by using the length function. Okay, length of hello, it is a five. Uh, and for the length of, in the, in the same way, we can find the length of a, any list also. So you can use the length uh, for the uh, two, uh, you can say item in the list. Okay, so it will provide you the uh, output as a two. Uh, this is the index positions of zero and one, but the length is the total number of item in the list. Okay, similarly, you can uh, use the lookup also, where we have providing have to provide the first argument as a uh, map. Second one is the key, and the rest uh, it's upon you whether you provide the default or not. Okay, so in this way it works. Okay, so lookup uh, you have to provide the map, then the key, and then the default value. It's up to you whether you will provide or not. Okay, so uh, this is the example. You can uh, check in the site as well for the string. We have the lookup value here. So somewhere here you, you can find the lookup okay in the corrections here it is so you can use the similar uh, example let me copy it and i will paste it here okay so this this is the the map okay uh, you can say the dictionary also or any object also and we are searching for the a so a exists and it will prompt a value of that is assigned with the a so key and value so it will produce the value of this particular key if we don't have it then it will provide what okay or whatever your requirement in your code okay so a exists so it will provide uh, this uh, particular value in the similar way if uh, we provide looking for the c which not exist then it will uh, definitely uh, provide the the default one okay because c is not a part of this particular uh, you can say uh, the map also the, the dictionary also okay so it will produce what uh, similar in the if you say in the uh, real example suppose uh, how can we use uh, use it so i prepared a, a, a one sample for you like uh, you can see this is the lookup and where we have a key value of the web which have uh, have some ips for the app we have some ips uh, for the database we have some ip and uh, the default one okay so we are searching for the web and the web is already a part of this particular map you can say so it have the, some ip so it will uh, generate this ip to use further in the code so you can see uh, it listed this particular ip okay so in this way you can use it uh, for the merge uh, function okay how it works so you can merging two of the maps okay so if you if you look into this we have the key value okay and again we have the key value a is unique in this and the whole of the uh, map we have we are using two maps uh, okay so it will uh, uh, produce you uh, as a single map okay so a have the value b have the value but uh, if you have uh, something common okay so um, some of the item is in common in both of the case like we have the c is common uh, maybe have the different value so whichever come at the last will take the precedence okay so when you execute it you can see a have the value of b a have the value of b but c have the value of d because the c comes again at the last so it will take the precedence and it have the, it, it have the value of z and e uh, will accordingly have the value of f so uh, th that's it for this video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel it's always motivate me to uh, make something new for you guys and the next video in the function 2 we will come with the encoding functions okay file system functions template file and concatenate functions so and we will provide you some use cases also how we are going to use these functions uh, although we are using it in the past video as well but we will bring you again uh, some of the use cases. So thanks for watching this video.